joins us here live at the RNC. Grover, thanks for being with us. Uh, again, a, a lot of Republicans talk about being opposed to tax increases and want to fight to lower taxes. But you feel, a guy who's fought your whole life to lower taxes, you feel really good about J.D. Vance as the VP pick. I do. First of all, he signed the pledge never to raise taxes. He knows what that means. That's a very important commitment. He's supporting President Trump's tax cuts and making them permanent. And President Trump just today said the 21 percent corporate rate should go down to 15, which is what he wanted originally. And one of the things that's helpful is that J.D. Vance understands the needs of working families. He knows what the left lies about. And that left lies and says, oh, companies pay taxes. J.D. Vance knows the companies don't pay taxes. When you tax the corporate income taxes paid by consumers, like he was talking about when, his, when he was poor, consumers pay the corporate income tax. Workers pay the corporate income tax in lower wages. And if they really damage you, the stock market goes down. And anyone with a retirement, with a pension, they pay the corporate income tax. The corporate income tax is a declaration of war on working people, not companies. No. Dagan? Uh, Grover, I'm going to turn uh, economic argument into something more amorphous, if you will. One thing that I know about J.D. Vance, for people who do know him, is that he believes in the ingenuity of individuals, those very people who he grew up with, who I grew up with, and Sean as well, who are looked down upon and spat upon by the elites and the ruling class. And he knows how smart they are, and he knows how industrious they are, and he believes in their abilities. And how much does that factor in into really making a struggling economy, which we see now, something really, well, great again? Well, I think one of the things it says is when there's a problem, when things aren't working, he says, you know what? Maybe it's not the people. Maybe it's not mom and dad. Maybe it's not the kids that can't learn. Maybe there's something wrong with a unionized, bureaucratized public school system that doesn't let parents have school choice. How about thinking that the fault may be in the system, in the government program, rather than blaming the victims, the students that don't get the best education, and the parents that have no choice in how to raise their children. So there's a binary thing. A lot of the bureaucrats want to go, of course our government right. programs don't work because the kids are no good. That's not true. <laughs> it's the other way around. No doubt. And by the way, Katie Vance, is not a victim. He could be one, but he's not. He's yeah. a success story. Grover Norquist, always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for being with us. Good to be with you. All right, coming up, Nikki Haley is set to.